Hi everyone, it's Christy and today I'm going to be doing a collective haul for you guys. The first thing I'm going to show you, I'm so excited about, um, we bought a new kitten, we got her on Saturday, today is Wednesday, and we are in love. She's an early birthday present for me, my birthday's um, in the end of May. So I, um, I really want to show you her, she's so beautiful, she's 15 weeks old, she's a Blue Point Ragdoll kitten, um, sorry, she's just sleeping on my lap, so I'm just going to quickly get her up. Um, they're beautiful breeds, these sort of cats. Um, just really placid. Um, isn't she cute? And she's got the most beautiful blue eyes that she's sort of closing now. So, um, oh, and she's purring. And, yeah, so, this is Lucy, everyone. She's super cute and floppy, because that's what ragdolls are like. They just flop around, um which I love. She's so cuddly. Whenever Scott and I are at home, she's always just wanting to be next to us and sleep on us or just hang out next... Oh, it's just... She just... She's not very... She doesn't want to be by herself. I don't know what she's like when we're not home, but um, whenever we are here, she just wants to be next to us all the time. So that was my most exciting purchase recently. Um, and I love her. And she's awesome. Aren't you, Lucy? Yeah, so we named her Lucy. I don't know if I just said that anyway. Okay, so on to the other things that I purchased. This is like a collective haul. So there's things that I purchased in and around the last two weeks' time. So they're not in any particular order. So I don't know. I've just thrown stuff all over my bed. I'm just picking things up and showing you as I find them around. So these things, okay, so I went to a friend's house and he had a stylus. And he was using it on his iPhone to um, draw better pictures on Drawsome, the app that um, everyone apparently is playing right now, which I'm also playing. And um, I'm like, oh, where did you get the stylus from? And he's like, oh, they're $5 from Dick Smith. And I'm like, oh, cool. And then I thought to myself, maybe I can go on eBay and have a look if I can find them cheaper. So I did. And I found, okay, so these are only five of them. But I bought a pack of eight. Yeah, I bought a pack of eight for about $2.20 from some Asian country with free shipping. How awesome is that? And Lucy loves these. She plays with them all the time. And so because we got eight, I just, you know, I gave four for me, four for Scott. And then so we just spread them out throughout the house. So wherever we are, we've also always got a stylus on hand um, to play with. And Lucy's always nicking them and playing with them herself. So that was a really good purchase. And I'm really glad that I... I bought them. They're just easy to use with the iPhone and I'm sure that if you had an iPad they'd be even better. But we don't have an iPad. Okay, so next thing I bought, uh, I bought a pair of shoes, or I bought two pairs of shoes, these ballet flats. These are from Ice and Ice was having a, oh, ouch, don't scratch. Um, Ice had a sale or a promotion I guess on uh, shoes, two for twenty dollars. So I bought two ballet flats, they're exactly the same style but different colours. So I needed a pair of black flats. Um, they've got a nice sort of knotted section at the front, which I'll show you. Can you see that? Maybe it'll come better in the other colour. They're really sweet, perfect for work. Um, yeah, so it was like $10 a pair, which was really nice. And the other pair I got were red. So I'm hoping you can see the pattern a bit better um, just here. So $10, cute shoes. Yay! Um, I'm a big fan of ballet flats. I wear flats all the time. All the time, everywhere. So, that was my shoes. Then, I purchased a couple of pairs of jeans. Um, I just find that ugh, my body shape changes all the time. Or maybe I'm just getting a bit fatter, I don't know. But I seem to find that jeans that fitted me last winter don't fit me anymore. Um, so it's all a bit depressing and I, I, jeans can be kind of expensive so I don't like to spend a lot of money on jeans. So when I saw these, um, they're red and so coloured jeans are really in at the moment. I'm seeing them in magazines, I'm seeing them in blogs, um, so I'm really excited when I saw these. They're by SES and um, they're a really nice red colour. I don't know what's happening lately but I'm totally into red. Um, I'm wearing red today, I bought red flats, I've got red, red jeans and I've got something else that's red as well that I'll show you soon. I 
As far as I'm aware, I did not like red at all. I hated red. I didn't like anything red. I didn't have anything red in my wardrobe. And then all of a sudden, everything I'm buying is red. Which is bizarre. But anyway, so I bought these jeans. They're just skinny leg jeans. It's a bit hard to show you in the video. But they're skinny leg jeans. They were $13.95. So I'm like, what? As if I wouldn't buy these jeans. So I bought them in red and black. They also had brown, which was a bit like, ugh, no. And they also had purple, which I was like, yeah, if I was into purple, I'd get purple. But I thought, if I'm going to get one pair of coloured jeans, I'll just get red. And red looks with black. So, they were my jeans. And I also had got them in black, like I said, but I don't know where the black ones are to show you. Then, what else do I get? Okay. Then I went to Alley. And there's a brands on sale department, um shopping complex near my mum's house and she had invited me over one day and I thought oh I'll just stop by this brand on setup place and see what they have before I drop over at mum's so I did and there was an alley store and they had um just crazy sales on and um, they had some five dollar racks and I'm like five dollars awesome and I found this really nice burnt orange kind of colored skirt it's a high-waisted skirt um Sorry, keep looking at her. It's a high waisted skirt, it's got a belt, it's got some like um like pleats or something at the top just here. And it feels really nice, it feels like a suede. I don't know how to describe it, obviously it's not suede, but it feels like a suede. It's fully lined and I thought it would look it is kind of short, but I thought it would look really nice in winter with like black tights and little boots and stuff like that. So I thought it was a nice winter colour. So that was five dollars. Nice and cheap from Ali. Yeah, from Ali. That was cool. And then I bought this. Now I saw red. Yes. Um I saw an ad on TV that Rivers had twelve dollar knitwear and I'm like, ah. Oh, $12 knitwear, yay! So I went and I had a look. Now, by the time I managed to get to the store, um, most of the knitwear was gone. So I only, like, there wasn't a lot to choose from, but I did see this and I really liked it. It's massive, okay, and it's like, um, it's got, the sleeves are kind of, um, wide, or, yeah, like bell sleeves, if that's how you, I don't know. And, um, it's long and it's like a cape, if yeah, it's, that's the only way I can describe it. It's like a cardigan slash cape thing. And it's got three buttons at the top. And, um, yeah, so it's got three buttons. And then it's sort of loose. And I just think it's so nice and it's so thick. It's got ribbing at the top and um, the bottom is just plain. And the buttons are nice brown kind of colour. Yeah. So that was from Rivers and that was $12. And it retailed for $30, which is still pretty good for knitwear, but... You know, if I can get it for 12, I'd rather get it for 12. And then, okay, so I've got two more things to show you. This, oh, I'll show you the list to last. Okay, Mum and I went to Kmart and I was walking through the fashion section. So I bought and this, I saw this long, skirt. stretchy, maxi skirt. I'm sure you guys have seen these skirts around. I'm so slow with the trends. I don't know what's going on. What I love about this is that the top is stretchy and it's all stretchy. So, I mean, I've got a bit of a belly happening. So, a lot of the skirts out at the moment have the really tight waist or hip or wherever you want to put it. And then it sort of flares out, which means that it sort of digs into my, my little flabby areas. And, um, yeah, it's not very flattering. But this one, the whole thing's elastic. So, I sort of just sort of holds everything together, kind of. So yeah, I thought it was really good. It fitted me really well. I know we're going into winter now in Australia, so I don't know when I'm gonna wear it. The last few days have been pretty crap, so um, I'm just hoping that, yeah, it's sort of, um, it's a bit more, oh, it gets a bit sunnier and then I can wear it. Okay, you can't climb on the tripod, kitty. No, 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 let go. <sighs> so yeah, anyway. It was $19. I thought that was a really good price. So that's that one. And the last thing I'm going to show you, I bought online. It's from a company or like a brand called Dolly Bobo. 
And I found out about this company through watching a YouTube video of the girl who either set it up or owns it or runs it or I don't know what her relationship is with this company but she was showing off some of the um, collared necklaces that they had and I'm like oh, so pretty so I bought one and they have this is a little card how cute is that I just flowers and pretty borders so it's called Dolly Bobo and they're in the UK and this is what I bought. I bought a black Peter Pan um, collar necklace thing and it's all glittery. I thought it would look really good with like if I didn't have this collar on but I just had it plain. Oops. Like that. And then this would look really good with it. Without the chain on the front of my neck. So... Anyway, I think it was about 10, um, yeah, like that. I think it was about 10 pounds and um, I don't know what I paid for postage, but it worked out to be about 20-ish Australian dollars. So, you know, it's not something that I would normally splurge on, um, but I'm really happy with it. I think it's really pretty, especially because it's all glittery and and wear it sort of out, night out somewhere or out to dinner or something like that. But yeah, and that's pretty much everything. So thanks so much for watching. Um, I hope you enjoyed my haul and I hope you enjoyed seeing our little fur baby because she's so beautiful. I'll try to put her in some more videos um, as much as I can. She's so pretty. Um, that's pretty much it. Anyway, thanks everyone for watching and I will see you next time. Bye.